Good afternoon guys. Welcome to another video brought to you by Hartsford Outdoors. We're excited to have you guys with us. Appreciate you tuning in. We have a special episode today. Um, crew member Gary Yoder, he goes to Alaska and does some fishing. He has some uh, pretty cool encounters. Um, we'll let you guys dive into that video in just a second. In the meantime, I'm going to be filling feeders up. We're eight weeks out from deer season here in Georgia and uh, we're super excited about this year's deer season. We got some great bucks on camera and uh, it should be a great season for us. While I fill this feeder up, I'm gonna let you guys dive into this video. Hope you enjoy. Good evening, folks. Um, it is April the 28th. This is Thursday evening. Um, tomorrow morning, I leave to go on a trip. It's gonna be about a little over two weeks long. Um, I'm going to Alaska with one of my buddies. We're going to be doing a work slash fishing trip. I don't exactly know what all it consists of. But I know we're going to be working on some cabins and stuff like that. Um, I'm leaving tomorrow morning, which will be Friday morning at like 3 o'clock. Uh, my sister was nice enough to let me have their ride to go to Kentucky. So I just loaded up all of my stuff that way in the morning. I can strike out and then our flight leaves at 7.30 Saturday morning. And then we're going to be over in Alaska, or up in Alaska, for two weeks. Not exactly sure what date our flight is coming back. And then I'll probably be up there at my buddy's house for a few days, not sure yet, uh, up in Kentucky. Just to catch up on sleep, stuff like that, before I drive back home. Um, don't want to be driving home by myself when I'm super tired. So, I'm going to take you all along on the trip. Don't know how good footage y'all get or how much footage, but I'm gonna take y'all along. I'll see y'all on the morning on the road in the morning. All right, folks. It is 20 till four Friday morning. Um, I'm just filling up with some gas, and I'm striking out again. Um, I'll see y'all again. Hi right, folks, so I've been driving for about uh, a little over five hours now. Uh, I have about right at two hours to go, um, but I had to take another pit stop and get some gas and, I mean, why not? Get some Bojangles biscuit and gravy. That's what stopped me. But I'm fixing to get fueled up and back on the road. And I'll see y'all at my buddy's house. I have made it. Seven hours later. You probably can't see that. But seven hours later, I am pulling into my buddy Justin's driveway. Well guys, we made it to the airport. Let's go. We will see y'all tonight, I guess. Don't know what we're gonna be doing, but in case you go catch a plane. Guys, we made it. Barely. Well, we got plenty of time. 15 minutes. Yeah. 
security or the check-in line was like extremely long and we had to good vibes only that's right we had to be humble stay humble kind of we had to do some things to get through but we made it it was pushing it close We are in Alaska. It is in what? Ketchikan, Alaska. It is 5:30 here right now. Can't see it, but it's pretty here. When we were coming down on our flight, we hit an eagle. And so now we're sitting here waiting on another plane or something. I don't know what all is going on, but we might make it there eventually. Well, folks, what's the deal? We got stranded in Juno because the weather is terrible. Too much wind gust to, to fly. Yeah, we couldn't fly. We got to go what 90 miles back in to no back out we're going right wherever. on the edge we're going 90 we're 90 miles inland right now we're going like right out on the edge of the ocean like a half a mile or a mile from the ocean so from which from juno or which direction which uh ocean is that oh that's the pacific pacific ocean gulf of Italy, yeah Alaska yeah kinda. and we were going to fly out today but the weather didn't allow that and Hopefully he can get him talked into flying tomorrow morning yeah. instead of going back with a boat because it's like an hour flight instead of a four hour, four, four and a half hour. boat ride. Yeah, and he can't bring the boat out tonight because he's gone into the choppy waves, like four foot chop, which will not only beat the boat to death, but it'll kill anybody inside, yeah. <laughs> so, especially if you're not used to it. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully we can get a good night's rest sleep and we will be on the way out tomorrow and then we come back in on the 14th and fly out the 15th i think mm -hmm. so yes sir it should be a lot of fun um i don't know how much of the work that i'll be showing but i'll probably stick more to the fishing side of it instead of yeah that way y'all don't have to see his work works boring <laughs> yeah for real yeah he's gonna catch some interesting fish i'll tell you that it's gonna yeah. be pretty happy <laughs>
Roosevelt down there isn't it? I texted him when we were going over the red hood. He said he was just pulling away from the dock. So he oh, should be here any second. Pilot Ed, he's been flying for about 30 years or so now. <laughs> 40 years. It's a long time. And we got Mike coming up here to meet us. Got a brand new wrap on that boat. It's pretty sweet. Super Beaver with the cool exhaust stacks here. <laughs> it's an Alaskan thing. What's up, Bailey? And Aaron, oh, we got you. Is that <laughs> Let's go. Check this out. We got a sweet wrap here. Give Ed room to swing out. What's up, Mike? This is home. This is our slab, boys. This is home for the next two weeks. Just two pimps. Dustin's dropping hey. stuff already. You stay out of the candy over here. Uh, Don't you be sneaking in here. Hey. Hey, you stay out of our candy. Our candy's better. Bet money, our candy's better. Listen, these things here, they will explode if you open them, so don't even think about opening them. All right, bet. <laughs> about to see if we can catch us some shrimp. Yes, sir. Old Milton's about to reel them in. Came up with my friend Brutus right here. Uh, here on the Tonka Toy. Good at stuff like that. <laughs> Got a little bit of shrimp. There's some big jokers. Putting the line back out. We got three more to check. Hey, got one shrimp, boys. Didn't go 20. Didn't catch 20 either. Zoom in on them thighs right there. I mean, them loins. Looks like they're very heavy. Grab. That's like all I can take. Right on the bird and on under. They look disgusting. The current light up a little bit. Starfish, baby. Oh, like that. I didn't know they could have so many legs. Yeah. Well, folks, this is our first day going out fishing. Go with us wrong way. Ain't got no gas in it. <laughs> this guy, he don't need to be on our YouTube. <laughs> we got Captain Jason here. He's so good. We he gets two deck hands. We ain't gonna be showing y'all his spots, but we're gonna be showing y'all us reeling in some monsters. Some little minnows. We're gonna go get some minnows out of the pond. <laughs> so, 
we'll see y'all out there when we're starting to yeah. reel them in. Just getting some last minute stuff and we'll be headed out. color? Not yet. You gonna miss the first one of the year? First one of the year, brother. Oh, out hey. Yeah, there it is. Got him. Let's go. Fishing guide. All you gotta do is be a carpenter. You don't need to be a carpenter. First one of the year. Alright, hook him. Hook him. Crick it underneath him. Yep. Yanking a little gun.
go. I see color. There we go. Got him, boys. Let's go. Nice fish. This is where all the goods happen. I think Milton knows what he's doing. As long as you act like you know what you're doing, everybody's okay. Hi guys. Um, today was our first day of going out fishing. Um, we ended up catching nine halibuts and a bunch of bass. Um, it was it was fun this morning yesterday i was working pretty hard and was pretty tired so this morning i was not feeling very great i didn't get much footage um and then i took a nap on the boat and started feeling a little bit better and then this afternoon i did get some more footage um but i'm gonna try to get better footage in the next few days when we go um Hopefully we can get some bigger halibuts. They were nice today. They're real good eating size. Um, and then we caught a bunch of bass. So I would say that the first day going out fishing of the year, I'd say it was a success. Um, but I'm cold and about to jump in the shower then go chill out in the lodge until dinner's ready so i will see y'all whenever we go back out fishing y'all stay tuned <laughs> oh, yeah. Get that new line. <laughs> that's some nice rippers there dude there should be some slabs for the box how about it? <laughs> Marvin, have you ever harpooned a fish? I, no, I never did. <laughs> they keep crossing, though. <laughs> We're having a dancing match down there or something. Man, that is awesome. Oh, yeah, color coming up. Oh, baby, get in here. Get Let's go. Oh, Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What you think? I don't know. Dude, <laughs> this is awesome. Let's yeah. go 20. Let's go 20. Points. <laughs> you go hang in there, big boy. Oh, shit, it goes right at you. Oh. Yeah. Keep mine, baby. That's right. Oh, All right, we got color here. Uh, just run out of the way. Keep coming, Slater. Come on, we're going to open it up. Nice, nice work. Slater, get that big one. Just like that. Made that little kelpie jig worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Good workout. Good work. Nice poo. <laughs> oh, oh, I got you. <laughs> Look at them slabs, baby. Me and old Dustin doubled up. 20 minutes of jigging. Let's freaking go. 
Measure it up. You'll be sliding back. Day number three, folks. We got, we got Captain Jason here. We got the crew here. Check out what I got in my cup. That's a cup of sausage. Oh. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Who put the sausage in a coffee cup? Totally busy, busy man. <laughs> only Captain Jason. Oh, only sausage, really. Good with my mountain ops. Yeah. The views are beautiful today. If Jason would clean his windshield, you could see better. <laughs> I love you, Gary. <laughs> Gary on a fish, first one of the morning for him. Let's go. What I you got going on, it. boy? I ain't got no gas in it. <laughs> I don't have any gas in it. I ain't have no caffeine. Let's go, Gary. Let's go. We got another fish over here. Let's go look what we got going on. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. <laughs> and we got a fish. Let's go. What's over there? Gary's on a fish, a halibut. It's a big one. Yeah, it's a nice one. Beautiful day out here. Gosh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it is. Here we go, just in time. Woo! Let's go, Gary! You're on me too, or what? Yeah. Got some color, boys. That's a nice one. That's a nice one, boys. All tangled up. Yeah, Shame on me. He must start shaking. Watch out. Big one on the hook. Don't be here any second. Anyone watching the rods? <laughs> <laughs> That's where the real big one's gonna strike. That cutter. You got a line tangled over here. All right, that's fine. It. That's a big one. Lift up and stand up on the side. Okay. Nice, Gary. Lift it up, Gary. Hey, grill up. 
up, Gary. Right about. Sweet. Big toe 20. Hey, hey. Big toe Let's 20. Let's go, baby. Nice one, Gary. Oh, That's yeah. Oh, you want to get that rope yeah. out of that? Yeah. What do you guys say, buddy? Hey. Freaking go. You actually like it with nothing. You just like. Alright, you want to get it out around that cleat? The main rope. Hey Gary! I get it. Hey, congratulations man. <laughs> the biggest one at the dock all year. Gary's kind of lucky this way, right? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have any food. <laughs> Someone unhooked that uh, harpoon rope. Yeah, it's unhooked. See you guys later. Have fun. <laughs> Wow, Gary. Get a second wind in him. Yeah. Didn't act like that skate did. I think we're good this time. What you got? I think we got a little Halle here. <laughs> What's over here? A little Halle, big butt. <laughs> I was over here jigging on, the, on this rod for like 30 minutes. Yeah. He finally got yeah. him one. Let's go. It's like a 50 pounder. We'll be thing. back. Didn't even lose my spot in the rotation. <laughs> hey, hey! Your first halibut. Hey. Let's go. Get me off my tail. Yeah. First one for the day. Got it on the jig. Yes, sir. That's right. Let's go. <laughs> it makes number eight for the day. Got my boy Justin here on another one. Yeah. Over to your right. Got him. Go. You're up, Gary. Alright. Cover back down. Yeah, it's not you have that guy. I think it's Milton's turn. Oh, well, Milton's ready. Milton's ready. Let's go. He is. He's ready. How many does that make for today? 11. Is it 11? Let's go. Alright, guys. Today was our third day of fishing. Um, today was a lot better than yesterday. We ended up on my boat. We caught 11 halibuts. Um, so we did pretty good. And luckily, I caught the biggest one out of everybody that's here again today. Um, pretty pumped about that. Um, not sure how good the video is, but hope y'all enjoy it. Um, not sure when our next day of fishing will be, um, but we will see y'all then. Fish on, Marvin! Oh, yeah. Feel like a good one? What do you think? Oh, it'll be my best one, yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, we got color oh, back man. there. Keep reeling, Marvin. Keep reeling. Keep reeling, buddy. Whoop! Got him. Came over. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Watch this door before something Yeah, don't fall in, Marvin. Oh, dude, fall out. Yeah. Nice. Boy, well, you got smooth out here. He was both good, too. Well, he's some fish as a diamond. What do you think? Well, think about That's what it's all about. Man, kind of. Hey. Alright guys, today is day five of fishing. Um, yesterday we went out, it wasn't that good, the tide was bad. Um, but today we're going back out and hopefully we can get on some big ones and we can have more fun than we did yesterday. 
yesterday was still fun, but it was just slow, it was a grind. Um, but I think today the weather's better, the tide's better. So hopefully we can get on some big ones and we can get y'all some good content. So y'all stay tuned. We came out here salmon fishing. We ran into a bunch of bass. We got a bucket full of them. He'll be his new neighbor. And we steady reeling them in. Well, we're back <clears throat> today. We ended up catching um, seven or eight halibuts, I think, and like 26 bass. Um, I wasn't feeling very good. I was a little bit seasick today for some reason. Uh, yeah, I wasn't I wasn't feeling the best, so I didn't get hardly any footage today. So, but yeah, we ended up catching some fish, but yeah, I wasn't feeling good. And yeah, so not sure yet if we'll be going tomorrow. And then Saturday is going to be our last day. And then we will be headed home. And got to say, after two weeks, I am ready to be home again. So I'll keep y'all updated. Not sure what we're going to be doing yet, but I'll keep y'all updated.